Hey y'all, Grand Rising. So we're gonna see what does the collective need to receive today. Holy Spirit, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. <laughs> well, look what we have here. Cursed items, gifts, uh, voodoo on food, okay? So you need to be careful. We have here decisions, repeat or evolve, all right? Yeah, Spirit is telling you, do not repeat this cycle. You need to free yourself, okay? You are a survivor. You are not a victim. They're trying to make you a victim. These people want to keep you stuck in a karmic cycle. And they might try to uh, do this to you in, in, in the form of giving you a gift, okay uh you know so maybe you know maybe somebody's birthday is coming up yeah look we have here they're connected to the devil so maybe a birthday's coming up or just some type of gift um or something that they're trying to give you and spirit wants you to be aware don't accept it i don't know if y'all saw the video that i posted um i posted it on on instagram and i posted it on youtube about uh not accepting certain gifts you know like it's not good because as you can see here they're connected to the devil all right and those gifts hold an energy you know they could uh they could put an energy into that into the gift that they're trying to give you and it could end up being a curse it could end up you know blocking your blessings delaying your blessings and many other things okay now for some of y'all it's somebody that's around you and uh they somehow have access to your food okay or this could be at work. This could be uh, somebody, you know, you know, like how they'd be like, oh, you know, sometimes when, when I used to work at, in this job, um, there used to be one person that would go get the food, you know, and they'd be like, okay, everybody write down what you want. And I'll go pick it up and I'll, and I'll bring it, you know, to, to everybody. So while they're doing that, they could push it in the food. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be careful. Don't let nobody be near your food at work, in the house, nothing, period. All right. You need to free yourself from the situation because they're trying to get you trapped in a, in a karmic cycle. Okay. And again, with, with frustration, they could be frustrated because you're trying to free yourself. You know, you need to learn from this. You need to heal. You need to release. Okay. So that's why they're frustrated because they know that you're not, you're not meant to stay here in this cycle, you know, and they're trying really hard to hold you back. All right. Let's clarify. Let's dig a little deeper with this. All right. Holy spirit. These energies uh, that are trying to hold the collective back. Let's see. Who, who are these, these energies? Tell me more. At the bottom, we have here bittersweet. So these are people that, uh, you see here, are they trying to feed you something? That's interesting, right? That is so crazy. I said somebody's birthday too. That is crazy, y'all. I'm telling you. Listen, you could be seeing doves, all right? But with this right here, this person is going to try to like feed you. This could be somebody's aunt, uh, mother, okay? A, a female relative, okay? Or friend. It don't have to be a female. It could be a male, but as we can see here, it's a female, all right? And there's something about this person. You see how they're crying? It doesn't have to be tears of happiness, you know? It's tears more like, bitch, I don't want you, you know, to, to free yourself. I want to keep you stuck. And you just here thinking like, you know, just minding your business, completely clueless to this shit, right? And they're trying to feed you, but you're not clueless. That's what these readings are for, is to keep you aware, all right? So you could be five steps ahead of the game. So when they come to you with this dusty-ass cake, you'd be like, bitch, fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they're going to try to come to you with a gift, with something to eat or some bullshit, uh, and it's going to be because they don't want you to free yourself. See how this bird looks like? It's, it's like free. You know what I'm saying? That's your energy. Okay. So what do we have here? We have soulmates and we have forgiveness. Okay. So again, uh, this could be a soulmate doesn't have to be a lover. A soulmate could be a friend, uh, a family member, a coworker. Okay. Uh, because soulmates, they have, we have high level soulmates, which is, you know, our divine counterpart. And then we have low level soulmates, which is, the ones that we need to learn from, all right? The ones that we need to experience to learn something from. Even a stranger could be a soulmate because we learn something from that interaction, all right? So whoever this person is to you, take it how it resonates. I feel like, again, it's something about them being being in a position to nurture you, you know? Like somebody who was supposed to be a parent, uh, an aunt, an uncle, you know, an older sibling. Somebody that I feel like th since you was a child, for some of y'all, all right? Uh, or for some of y'all, it's someone that there is a child involved in the situation. Remember, there's a group reading, take it how it resonates. And it's a soulmate. It could be a karmic lover and there's a child involved here. And this is somebody that, you know, you thought that you would be able to 
to be able to trust this person, to be able to uh, trust them with, with yourself, with your child. You know, something about you just thinking that you could trust this person and this person is not somebody that you could trust. That's what we have here, forgiveness. You know, like, uh, I know it's, it's going to feel like a betrayal because, again, it's somebody that you thought that you could trust. But Spirit wants you to forgive and let go. So this is somebody confirmation with the burning <laughs> okay uh this is basically you know saying that uh this is somebody that spirit wants you to forgive all right even though they are doing these things uh and it is personal of course they want you to forgive because if you look at it from a higher perspective this person is helping you all right they're helping you to get where you need to be they're helping you to learn the game all right it doesn't mean that they know that they're doing this it's just that god is using their vessel to, to teach you a lesson, to help you, okay? To, to help you grow, to help you to evolve, all right? So remember that they're also connected to the devil. This person has like a demonic entity attached to them. So they're not thinking straight, all right? They don't have any control anymore, all right? I'm not making an excuse for them. I'm not, And I'm not telling you to fuck with this person again. I'm telling you to stay away from this person, protect your energy. But Spirit wants you to understand everything that's going on, you know, connected to the situation so you can learn from this, okay? So... This is the energy, yeah, bittersweet. But in, in, in the background, they're talking about you. I don't know, they're just giving me somebody's auntie, <laughs> okay? But it could be somebody else, okay? Uh, but, it's you know, it could be the auntie, the grandma, the mom. Like, you know, like, it's, it's, it's a bunch of bitches here that be gossiping about you, mad that you are evolving. You could be the black sheep. You're the different one in the group, you know? You're not like these bitches. You don't want to be, uh, you see how there's a paint a paintbrush here? You don't make up stories. You don't make shit up. You don't live in a delusional la la land you know what i'm saying like you don't throw salt on people's names that's salt right there you know like you don't gossip about people you don't lie about people you just be focusing on you you know just chilling see what i'm saying and they're coming to you with some bullshit because they don't want you to evolve all right to free yourself yeah they don't want you to reject them see what i'm saying so look here goes the paintbrush again all right and growth yeah they don't want you to grow. They don't want you to reject them, okay? They're trying to hold you back. Yeah, they don't want you to find your self-worth to love yourself because they don't love themselves. These are people that they're not on that on that type of time. These are people that are in is still in this energy, trickery and grief. They're still hurting from things that they have not healed, uh, things that they have not even, you know, recognized that need to be healed. You know, like these people, they don't go within, all right? What's this? Renewal. See, I'm telling you, they don't go within. They don't do this that you're doing. Yeah, look, and here goes victim. They want you to be a victim, okay? They don't want you to go through this healing. They want you to stay in this energy right here where it's all dark and gloomy and cold and nothing is growing with them right here. See how this person looks? Again, the same crying ass bitch in every card. You know what I'm saying? These people, is this is their energy, okay? For some of y'all, this is giving me like reptilian, you know? Like, I know it's a dragon. Some of y'all, you could be born in the year of the dragon or somebody is in this situation, 19, uh, what is that, 88? I forgot what other year. But um, I'm seeing here that uh, these are like reptilians, you know, like people, there's reptilian people out here that they don't, they don't evolve, you know, they're not like us. There's a lot of different beings out here. They might look like a regular person, but, you know, they don't operate the same and they're not the same, you know, type of being as you. All right. So this person, they cannot evolve. They're staying in this low vibrational energy and in grief and sorrow, sadness. And here you are in the background freeing yourself. All right. And that's their job in this whole situation to hold you back from this, to try to make you a victim. But you're not going to allow that. OK, again, you're not a victim. You are a survivor. You're going to survive this and you're going to free yourself. You are not going to be their victim. OK, Shit. yeah, we have here discovery. And look, this card right here is giving me the same vibe. Like they're jealous that you are growing. You see this? You don't have to be a, a woman. You could be a man. And it's talking about birthing new ideas, giving birth to ideas, uh, you know, coming up with, uh, you know, new business plans, uh, new ways to make money, you know, like you, you are a divine being. All right. That's just what you do. You grow, you evolve. All right. Again, do you want to repeat or evolve? All right. So they try to get you to stay in the energy of repeating cycles so they could continue to use you, uh, physically use you for stability, uh, spiritual use you for your energy all right and they don't want you to discover you know they don't want you to discover yourself discover your connection to the most high they don't want you to you know to know about any of this shit they want to keep you in the dark so they can continue to curse you and steal all right <clears throat> let's see all right quest they don't want you to go on your quest i'm telling you 
All right. Well, Spirit got a surprise for these hoes. <laughs> that, ain't, that shit ain't gonna work no more. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Whoa. All right, this one fell off first. Exactly. You see, surprise. It won't stay like this forever. Absolutely not. Okay. With these people who are two-faced. I'm telling you, these are two-faced people that be that be gossiping. And something's over my throat. <clears throat> gossiping and talking shit. They don't want me to say this, but whatever. I'm gonna put these back because it's too many. All right. So yeah, it won't stay like this forever. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Look at that. That's what they wanted. <laughs> Yo, that is so funny. They wanted it to stay like this forever. And they put your name and your picture or whatever the fuck they be doing. They, everybody, <laughs> everybody's so creative. Y'all seen that meme? They be like, everybody's so creative. <laughs> they did this. They put you in, a, in, in the freezer, in a jar, in a bag, whatever. They put you in the freezer to freeze you, to stop you, so that you don't move forward. All right? And Spirit is saying, it's not going to last. Okay? It's not going to stay like this forever. You are going to free yourself. Okay, for some of y'all, they wanted you in a marriage. They wanted to trap you in a marriage. Uh, you could be married to them. Uh, for some of y'all, they wanted you to get married. Okay, yeah, and victory will always be yours. You know, they 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 couldn't they couldn't trap you. They're not trapping you. Tell me more. I just saw a lengthy amount of time. Some of these people are going to jail, it's prison. All right, because they was doing something. Yep, they're gonna be losing their mind. Oh, they already did. Frenemies, I'm telling you. Yeah, because you are protected. See what I'm saying? You protected, bro. These people, they trying to act like they're cool with you. They're not, they not, they not cool with you. They're trying to take you out. All right. Trying to block you. Yeah. And they're gonna they're gonna experience these consequences. All right. They feel like you change. You change because you are evolving. You change because you are peeping game. And now you're protecting your energy as you should. So yeah, you changed. All right. Spirit is saying that there is a plan and it will manifest in due time. So be patient. All right. Yeah, you about to get some good news. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this person is an energy vampire. Yep, they wanted your spiritual inheritance. I'm telling you, everybody who's in the collective, we have a spiritual inheritance, okay? It's part of our spiritual contract. It could be a house. It could be money. It could be all of that. It could be a divine union. It could be everything and more okay it's different for everybody but these people they saw it they got readings done they try to steal it they can't take it all right like i said they want your energy and they want the stability that you provide for them and that shit ain't gonna work all right spirit is saying that victory will always be yours surprise absolutely there you go <laughs> All right, look, and more surprise. We got police investigation. I'm telling you, somebody gonna end up getting locked up. Somebody out here cheating. Tell me more. <clears throat> or somebody gonna get cheated on. That's part of their karma. All right, and if you did get cheated on, true love is coming in. If the, if they're gonna get cheated on, part of their karma, your good karma is that you got true love, real love, divine love coming in. All right, or a, 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 a true divine soulmate, not not the soulmate that we were picking up on earlier. Uh, that was like, you know, a lesson. This is a, a, a true divine soulmate because you are vibing high, all right? You have to vibe high to attract this kind of lover, okay? Or this kind of energy, these blessings. You need to uh, vibe high. That's what Spirit is always telling us to do that, you know, to raise your vibration, do the work, you know, release what doesn't serve you, let go of these people, and that's how you do it, all right? So basically, uh, you have all these good things that are coming in for you. And they try to stop it. Yeah, look, you cannot make this up. You got good news coming in. All right. They could have been gaslighting you for some of these people. They could have been telling you that you're crazy, you know, that you're bugging, that your intuition is not on point, that you chasing your dreams is, is crazy. And it was really all because they was trying to hold you back. Okay. Yeah, they could have been in a group chat talking about you, trying to make fun of you and shit, trying to, uh, yeah, just saw a workplace. Trying to throw you off and they was all working in cahoots. And look, now they're all going to be together, stuck in hell. All right. Archangel Michael is handling this. Yeah, they're going to be stuck in hell. Look, in mental prison and in trouble. All right. Troubled, stress, and in, in, in an actual prison. All right. You're going to be moving. There's going to be a new chapter of your life that you're going to be coming into. Some of y'all are going to be moving to a new home. And these people are going to stay insecure and moving into their new home, which is a prison cell. Okay. Bottom of the deck, pull your energy back. And that's exactly what you did, as you should, all right? So they're going to get what's theirs, and you're going to get what's yours. And that's it. Protect your energy and stay woke. Okay? Peace.